Tragedy in New York City has many people asking questions. So are Detroit's high rise apartments as safe as they can be if there was a fire? As 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell found out, there are some risks you need to know about if you live in a large apartment. Thousands of people here in Metro Detroit live in high rise apartments. The tragic fires we saw in New York raised the question. Do our communities have what they need to respond to fires in such buildings? And do such buildings have what they need to protect residents? People who live here in Lafayette Towers in Detroit say after a recent fire, they realized there are shortcomings. This was the scene in the Bronx Sunday morning. The medical examiner said all 17 people, eight of them children, who lost their lives in a high-rise fire, died of smoke inhalation. And it's not those orange flames that kill, it's that smoke. James Harris is chief of the Community Relations Division in the Detroit Fire Department, working to educate the public how to survive fires. He says people often don't understand how important it is that fire doors and stairwells or by elevators not be blocked. You see that fire alarm, the light, and it makes a sound and it goes off? These doors are fire doors and the latch automatically comes loose and these doors close. Residents who live in Detroit's Lafayette Towers tell 7 Action News the fire in New York made them feel lucky everyone got out in September here when they didn't hear fire alarms before they saw smoke in some cases. This report shows the city after investigating told the property owner fire alarms need to be upgraded. It's one example of a problem city fire inspectors work to find. There's over 125 high rises in the city. Detroit Fire Marshal Sean Battles says every year the city's team of 14 fire inspectors and six fire prevention captains inspect every high rise. High rises are prioritized because the buildings themselves contain firefighting equipment. Fire trucks, after all, can only reach so high. The ladder goes up about 100 feet, but we probably only can access maybe six or seven stories due to the height of the floors. If you live in a high rise and suspect a fire, even floors away, the message is don't hesitate. They take it for granted. Oh, that fire won't get to me. Oh, I've got time. I've got a couple more minutes. No, you don't. Minutes count, seconds count. So just get low and get out. So what do you do if you see an issue you think needs to be addressed where you live? Local officials say contact your building department or fire marshal. In Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News.